What's up, everybody? We are actually here at Hearst Towing uh, with Lynn Hearst. I want to give everybody just a second. Uh, Lynn wanted to take a moment, um, say a couple of words to everybody, uh, say a, a thank you. He's been flooded with text messages, uh, voicemails. You know, we've had a lot of towers. We had Kevin Goodyear came all the way up from South Alabama, brought him up two wreckers left them here we got a bunch of other local companies that have brought stuff up here and help them so uh with that being said i'm gonna turn it over and let lynn say a couple of words to y'all so here let me flip the camera all right lynn it's all you hey man uh i ain't uh i ain't no big social media person i mean uh but my wife told me and i know uh, my daughter talks uh, she does a lot of our stuff and she's been doing some things but my wife got her mom I told them I had like 300 uh, text messages uh, 200 phone calls 60 something 80 something uh, voicemails and I'm trying to do it late at night but um, hey, I just give give glory to God. For all this, um, cause everybody's lying, and I, I know y'all probably heard the story, but Blake. We were very fortunate. Two of the night shift guys had uh, dispatchers. My night shift guy that gets comes on at five had gone home to because the storm was coming in. He's going to eat supper, just hang out at his family's. Blake works till midnight. He was at the shop. He was the only one here. Uh, we had a, a tractor. You can show him that tractor. This tractor we just fixed it up. Um, we were going to put it to pull our equipment trailer. And uh, we just, we were waiting on some toolboxes to get powder coated. <laughs> and um, so they're, hey, they're going to be ready Friday is what the man told me. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, uh, we had a new roll back in there. It's back there. And um, Blake was had the door open and backed his truck at the door and it got real bad. So he stepped in the shop and... Um, it just got real bad. He, he climbed under the truck and uh, wrapped his arms and legs around the drive line. And it moved that truck 12 feet in our shop. <laughs> then the building fell over. But he called, I was on the way, but he called me, he was screaming, he was trapped, the gas was blowing, blowing gas. and. Uh, by the time I got here, he's climbing through the pile. He's a good record dude. He had a flashlight in his pocket and he finally remembered that and um, found his way out. So, and, and I know God's got a special plan for him and his family, but I, I wanted to thank y'all for uh, everybody. I'm talking about from uh, my friend John, uh, John Cutchin in Kansas. Uh, everybody, I mean, but everybody locally, I mean, Scott Kirkland, the Bound Bargers, Jimmy Robertson brought pans up here for me. And I hate to even name names because there's so many of you guys. There's 300 people have been calling me. And I know there's like, 600 towers, so half the towing people from the state of Alabama has called me. Uh, Jimmy Schatz, Shane, uh, Shannon, uh, but Kevin Gear Goodyear brought two trucks, carried them to my Hayden lot, and dropped them off, took, left the keys in, and said, "Use them if you need them." Uh, uh, Ricky Simmons called, "Bring your truck down here, and I'll get it going for you, uh, so you can get it back on." That's kind of what we're doing. They look like it. I tell everybody, look like they've been in a good Portland riot, but we're gonna be all right. They putting the glass back in them and. It ain't gonna be pretty, but we're gonna be here. And uh, I 
I just appreciate y'all. I know it sounds cliche -ish, but we serve a good God, and he loves me. So I try to love folks. It ain't because I'm good, because I'm bad. There's a few of them seen it around here the last couple of days. <laughs> but God allows us to love people because we've been loved, and that's what a lot of people have been doing. And I want you to understand it ain't about all these records. And that's what I love about what I do is we get to serve people and help people. And I ain't much on books, I ain't much on nothing like that, but I can work and I can go help somebody. And that's what, and then so all you guys, that's what you do because that's why we do it. Y'all help me and I wanna thank you. And I really, I really don't know how to put it in words. I'm, uh, I'm emotional because, I mean, again, I know it sounds cliche, so we, God is good and people say that, but he really is. And if you don't know him, you need to, because it ain't about uh, my story. I got a buddy. He's going through cancer. And I've had a lot of people that's going through cancer. And I'm just telling you like it is, and y'all forgive me. Hey, Conway's called me. Boy from Conway, Mark text me and I hate again I hate to throw names out Jeff over uh quit he texts me uh I mean uh Shivers in Mississippi uh just ever I, I and again I hate to name names or, or because I know I, I out of 300 of us uh, uh all of them in Burma every, everybody in, I'd say 90% of the towing companies in the state of Alabama called me or Daryl uh the, the folks at Miller, uh, Butch, Jacinta, uh, Greg Hines has been down here. Um, Hawkins, they got my rotator. We, and I got Scott Kirkman. He come up here and got these old boxes. I had a cool idea to set these boxes up, but I tell you guys, you better tie them down better than I do. <laughs> but anyhow, Scott come up here, both his rotators, and set them boxes up. We got my truck out of there, and he hauled it to, uh, he hauled one truck to Ricky's. He hauled one, my hauled my rotator last night up to uh, Miller. Miller's gonna wear it out for me, and I appreciate y'all. Uh, I, I get off track here, what I was talking about. But let me tell you something, my buddy about cancer. My wife, we see him, and he is, he is solid. And God's healing him, and doing a work in him, but because his life, He's affecting folks. He's affecting me by how that man is handling cancer. And my wife, she said, because we've seen a lot of folks handle cancer and trials. And she said, what makes him so different than these other folks? And I said, because he's got a foundation that's unshakable. My, all my stuff is gone. The foundation his life is on. You can't, you can't tear it up. You can't mess it up, and that's the difference. And you need to find that foundation. And I ain't talking about you. Got to help people. They people that walking beside you that you don't know what you're going with. People dealing with stuff. But if you don't have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and have that foundation, you can't handle stuff. My buddy's handling cancer. He is on top. He's a top water runner. He ain't no bottom fish. He's a top fish. And the way if you want to be a top fish, you gotta have him. And I'm just telling you, if it wasn't for him, you know, you know, and I know y'all know it because all y'all stuff says out there. You know what you got and how hard you work for. But you gotta have a good foundation. And it ain't a foundation, baby.
Two young boys. I don't even know who they are. And they stayed all night long working. And I and there's in a I think it's in a Dodge and I know you Ford people might hate me, but I think he's in a Dodge. It might have been a Ford, but they had a big old truck hopped up and it had Bessemer. I saw they had some logo, some tra some uh, logistics company, but they had Bessemer on their uh, truck. That's why I remember Bessemer. The boys just showed up, he said, we're gonna help you. The next thing I know, Jimmy Shot, Shannon, Kirk, Scott Kirkman, they all standing there. And uh, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. We get crossed up with different competitors. Steve Will Jr., now the boy that works for Steve, and I think his name is Quinton. He lives over here by me. His, his, it was blocked going to his house. And I'm talking about it ain't hit good. I mean, we, it, it was still pouring down rain. And he said, is there anything I can do? I can't, I'm gonna help y'all, whatever. And uh, I said, I need some shipping containers. Can y'all, yeah, I know they got them down there. And he was in a big uh, tandem axle rollback. He left here, bought me two 20 foot shipping containers. And then they sent them over on my pad. And he stuck them right up there. And that boy come by yesterday, make sure we was good. And I want to thank him because he just stopped because he could, he would try to go home to get home and he said I'm gonna help you. So thank you. You got a good man right there, Junior. Oh, oh, he is. He's a good dude. And uh, that's the kind you want to keep right there because he he eats the average bear. Uh, and I'm talking too much. Y'all probably ain't got time for me. We take a break, but uh, we're gonna be all right. He brought me a sweeper. Adam, he's down there running the show, I guess. He brought me a sweeper up here. I appreciate that help of sweep. We're trying to get a fence back up right here to keep the critters out. Y'all know about that. Uh, that's about it. I don't know. Uh, can they ask you stuff on there? Yeah. Can you see if everybody want to ask something? Anybody have any questions for Lynn? Hey, we'll talk about insurance stuff. <laughs> That's something I was going to get with you. Kind of do a lessons learned after this is all said well, and hey, done. I'll tell you this right here, guy. Let me tell you what. I got a blessing. I'll tell you this straight up. Fencing is excluded unless you add it. Uh, he's shaking his head because they had it down there. When that happened, y'all? 2011. That's when it all come through here. It just messed up. But fencing's excluded unless you include it. My policy, and the lady just made me grin, she told me, she said, this is how much is your building, this is how much is your inside, this is how much for something else, I can't remember, but she said, this is how much you got in the fence. I'm like, praise God, because I thought the fencing was going to come out of me building my building. So you need to check it. All them fine insurance folks out there selling that stuff. The lady brought me a $25,000 check. I ain't throwing no shame at nobody. I love all y'all. Bo over yonder and uh, what's my buddy down there? Is real, um, he texts me to all the insurance folks, Dennis. But you need to check it because they some little T's and I's and all that stuff that y'all need to get squared away. And how how you get it? A lot of this stuff is coming out of my building, and you got to make sure how it works. If you dig your foundation up. And my foundation's got some issues. And that's why I was talking about that foundation, by the way. My my foundation's jacked up, but I got one that can't get jacked up. But if the building's one thing, but if the foundation gets messed up, you gotta dig it up, haul it off, and pour you a new one. That's money. I'm gonna tell you how much a building gets is when it's all over with, because I'll know. We can talk, I'll tell you how much you need to do. Uh, so we'll have a good thing to work on 2021, how much a building costs. But y'all need to check that stuff. And uh, same thing about these old records. 
Add a little bit to it. But we'll talk about all that later on. Anybody got anything else to visit? Uh, no, sir, not right now. Okay. Love y'all, man. Appreciate it. And I don't want to get on here and tell you how good God is. Roll your eyes at that. It is. That's what it is. You gotta take care of it. But don't roll your eyes at it. Ain't no bull. So I'm gonna say this. Uh, y'all, y'all, I appreciate y'all texting me, calling me, and I apologize. You know, them kind of ways my buddy Joey Costello, he wear me out wanting to come up here. <laughs> Joey, I love you if you own this deal, man. Uh uh. Forgive me, I'm trying to think of them. People been running calls for us. Uh, Yates, Doug Yates, when he got the tractor trailer for us over there. Uh, what's that scary mountain up at Mont Eagle? <laughs> Sorry about that one, but I'd hate to come off there with a the tractor trailer myself. Done it a few times. But Doug Yates went up there and got a tractor trailer for us yesterday because we couldn't get to it. <clears throat> but I, I, again, I'm, I'm throwing out names. And I really hate to because, three, like I said, they had 300 of them. So I know you part of it. I just want to thank you. I know Billy. Uh, Billy was trying to FaceTime me the other night when all this crap was going on. So <laughs> I didn't have time for that, and I apologize. But uh, anyhow, uh, I wanted to thank you, tell you I love you. And uh, the reason I'm able to love is because I've been loved by the one who loves without being loved. Huh? So it's so you can love. That's why we're loved. So we can love others. Love y'all. Thanks, Lynn. Hey, everybody. Check back later tonight. I've had my drone up here. I've taken some aerial shots of the uh, the location. And I'll plan on posting those just to give you a full scape of what he's had to deal with. Y'all take care. Stay safe. We'll holler at you later.